Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Krullis, and uh, this podcast imagingy thingy here will be part of a series about uh, the foundations of self improvement and self development. Basically, what the roots you should what roots you should have before you grow your tree. I think that's the, that's kind of the simplest way to describe what I'm what my goal is, right? If you're interested in this topic, uh, follow my blog, link in the description below. Tr- I'm looking for kind of an active dialogue about this because I'm not some super expert right off the bat, I have to say that. I've been uh, I've been depressed and I've fought my way out of it. Now I'm kind of trying to just go uh, with my life as like as far as I possibly can. That's kind of my goal right now, right? But I was lucky for being depressed because I had to kind of start from zero. And many people don't do it, right? And you don't because you know you 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 start from zero when you're born. But wouldn't it be great to just start from zero when you're as smart as you were when you were like 20 or something, you know? And I kind of had to do it. So I was lucky that way, right? So anyway, on to the first topic of of the series. That's feelings. That's kind of the first thing I want to talk about because it it feels so, so important. Why it's important? Uh, Basically... If you want to be feeling like that you have accomplished something, contentment basically, if you want to learn from your mistakes, if you want to get motivated, you kind of have to have some oomph behind that, right? Or you, or in learning from the mistakes part, uh, you kind of have to be a little distant from your feelings so you don't kind of wallow in them but basically you kind of have to know what's going on inside your feelings and you kind of have to have them in order in whatever you kind of want to do right because self-improvement basically usually means breaking old non-working patterns and that's very hard it's extremely hard you know you kind of like if you want to do like oh i'm not gonna watch TV, I'm going to do something more creative. That's very hard. That's very, very hard. You're going to be disheartened. You're going to be kind of feel lazy sometime. And, you know, it's very, very hard to just break yourself out of those patterns. So, so how should you look at your feelings? Simply put, look at them like this. If you're feeling angry, you should feel angry. And you should be okay with it. You should be accepting of your feelings. But you shouldn't be inside of them. You shouldn't let them control you, but you shouldn't ignore them. There's kind of a happy medium, a happy balance there. That where you are completely okay with them and you kind of, you're feeling like super zen about it. But at the same time, they're not overwhelming you. So how do you do this? How do you, how do you create such a headspace, a, a space in your head that where that medium can be achieved. What I've learned during my time of breaking out of depression is this, these kind of three simple life choices you have to make uh, where this gets easy. So one is to take care of your body because you, you feel through your body, right? You, you f- uh, it's not as much in your head uh, as your feelings are manifested in your body, you know, you feel that warmth when you're angry or cold when you're f- afraid or anything right so how how do you so basically what you should do is eat right sleep properly and exercise some a couple of times a week you know mostly help preferably every day but a couple of times a week like go out and uh, just walk for 60 minutes in a brisk pace or jog or run or whatever you want to do right what i notice is kind of when you do these things you become a little more connected with your body in in a different way you right then you, you one another good thing is kind of your mind become more clearer and uh, 
that that's uh, a good th that's a good way you know if you if you feel your body more and you feel how things kind of react to your body more and you're more content with your body it becomes much much easier to to just feel your feelings too so the second thing you can do is to meditate i meditate about 20 minutes a day i haven't done it today yet that's great that i'm doing this podcast because i then i'm going to remember it but if you meditate you become more aware of what's going on not just around you but inside you so it it kind of like taking care of your body but it's like uh if you take care of your body and then you meditate on top of that, I know this is kind of like I'm getting a megaphone or a microscope or something. I become much, much acutely aware of something. I become, because uh, I become, firstly, much calmer, right? Medita meditation is very calming. And when you're calm, you are much more aware and much more uh, focused, yeah, but much more aware of the surroundings right and you uh, of your surroundings and you don't kind of you know you, you don't get dragged in to your own feelings as easily and the third thing is is to try to get new perspectives of uh, of how you think and how you feel because usually what happened to me like when i was depressed i have very like negative negative thought patterns and what I did basically was to to combat that. I had to like sit down and when I thought something negative about myself or a situation, I kind of sat down and thought, okay, how else could I see it? Sometimes, perhaps, yeah, sometimes this situation was negative, but what did I learn from it, you know? And I tried try to kind of push myself to be as positive as possible. And what it, that did was that negative thoughts came, I became uh, sad, started to think positive, started to learn to be positive. I still felt sad, but after a while, that kind of sadness became kind of a little disconnect between the sadness and the positive, because it was at first really hard to stay positive by just thinking positively. But after a while, it becomes much easier, because the sadness, they, it came, with the thoughts, but after a while, I, I I noticed that it was okay that I was sad. I, I kind of accepted it because I was distancing myself from it and just looked at the sadness. But yeah, I understood. Like yeah, that these thoughts came, the sadness came with it. Okay, I'm sad right now, but I I should think positively. So I thought positively, and that's and that sadness it that had nothing to do with my positivity. It sounds kind of weird, I think I'm not the best explainer, if that's a word. <laughs> but uh, you, you that, that's kind of what happened to me. That was my experience, basically. So, kind of a quick ad amendum on the meditation part. If you're interested in meditation, find uh, there's a lot of free stuff on the internet that just Google it, beginner's meditation. I do a very quick meditation when I just where I just uh, train uh, focus on my breathing for twenty minutes and focus on the sensations I feel in my body. But there's a lot of kind of techniques, and it depends kind of what you yourself kind of are are as a person. So look it up, look it up. I don't know by internet or borrow a book about it in your local library or if you want you can of course find a teacher and go to a class or try yoga i heard yoga is also a very good sort of meditation if you're a very physical person so well that's all for today folks uh next time i'm not really sure what i'm gonna talk about but if you're inter interested in this topic if you have your own views of your feelings and how to deal with them you can of course comment but i would also like that you comment on my blog uh, which the link will be in the description down below 